Hello, New York Comic Con. How y'all doing? What's up? Day four, everybody strong? Somebody pick that kid up, up back there. I am here with the stars of Cobra Kai, Ralph Macchio, William Zabka. Show them you love them. What's up, everybody? So listen, gentlemen, before, before Cobra Kai came along, had there ever been conversations about a Karate Kid sort of extension of the universe involving you guys over the years? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, we both, I think, heard uh, many, many failed pitches or ideas of how to bring these characters back, but it wasn't... You know, nothing really resonated, and it never felt like the right team. You know, we met these three great writers, um, and uh, they have driven this ship, and it's their vision, and uh, we're lucky and proud to be on it. Ditto. <laughs> yeah. Well, what about this particular iteration spoke to you guys? What was it about the setting, the time, the scenario that they placed you guys in? Tell us a little bit about that. The setting, the time, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Well, and the... This, 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 oh, yeah. this... Just uh, to enter it, to bring the Karate Kid characters, jo Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso, into today, uh, and, and to, uh, to stick them into the culture as it is, and into the world as we know it, new, new types of bullies and new types of situations. Um, in a way, put, yeah, put them in a body bag. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying, man, I'm trying. I'm trying. We're just gonna try to keep that going. He won't go down easy, this macho. <laughs> That's right. How often, you know, like, just walking through the world, does somebody shout, sweep the leg? Well, we had one earlier. Let's see. That's my <laughs> alarm clock, first of all. That's what we wake up to. So I hear that right away. That gets me out of bed. And then all, all throughout the day. <laughs> For those who haven't seen the first season of Cobra Kai, and if you haven't, you totally should. It's amazing. Where are Daniel and Johnny today? Well, they're both, um, they've both gone in different directions. Uh, under the tutelage of Mr. Miyagi up until his passing about eight years ago, LaRusso's had a very successful family life and a business as, uh, as a proprietor of LaRusso Auto Group. Uh, and, um, and so he's had great success and a fairly happy uh, family life. Where Johnny Lawrence has gone in the opposite direction, where the, the crane kick to the face might have been the best thing to happen to him in the last 30 years. <laughs> and so they're at two opposite ends of the spectrum, kind of like flipping the script a little bit. Um, and then when they rediscover and reignite their rivalry 34 years later, uh, not, not too much has changed, yet a lot of life and, uh, has gone on. So it, it adds uh, great, great complexities to these characters that in the Karate Kid were clearly very black and white, good over evil. Now they both have flaws, they both have negative qualities, they both have positive qualities, like, like all of us, and I think that lends itself to, uh, to the scope and the longevity of what the show could be. Uh, how much say, or how much impact did you guys have personally on where the story was going? How far did you want to be able to push things? The, the creators of the show, uh, J Josh uh, Hill, John Horowitz, and Hayden Schlossberg, they, they created the, the Hot Top Time Machine franchise and the Harold and Kumar franchise. Um, great writers. And it really, for us, at least, uh, we had to just trust them where they were going to take it. But I know both Ralph and I were very protective of Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso. We felt like we're the gatekeepers of these characters. And so, uh, you know, we put them to the test and we challenged a lot of things in, along the way. Uh, ultimately, they, they, you know, they would have the final say in the vote, but we had a lot of say in uh, helping guide these characters forward. Uh, Story-wise, I don't. We don't have much to do with it, though. They're... Yeah, they have the they they have the vision of the story of where they want it to go, and uh, they could see it from up here where we see it from a, a little more protective uh, place, maybe a little too precious to us. So we always they always had the tiebreaker. Very collaborative with all of us, but they they have driven this vision in the ship, and they're doing a great great job. Uh, I mean, w one of the, the the echoes of the show. There's sort of a bit of a a hole in the middle of it in that you don't have the late Pat Morita to be part of. Where would you guys imagine that Mr. Miyagi was today? Well, that's an interesting question. I, you know, I haven't thought that hard about that, where, where Miyagi would be. I, in, in, this, in the uh, essence of our story, you learn that he became, he was still always a big part of LaRusso's life, including his own kids and keeping martial arts in their, in their, the fabric of every day that uh, I think Mr. Miyagi is one of those magical film characters, you know? He's the human Yoda in the Karate Kid universe. It's the right thing to say at a Comic-Con, right? <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, that legacy of Miyagi and, and the late, great Pat Morita will, 
go on forever and is a big part of our show. And I think it's important to have that balance with uh, with it being Cobra Kai and that still being the essence of, of, of the piece. The essence, the essence of Miyagi lives in the show. Awesome. Uh, well, here we are in New York Comic Con, the sort of mecca for all things collector, mecca for all things nerd. What, if anything, do you guys collect? What are you nuts for? What can't you get enough of in your house? Wait, say that, say that what again. What do you guys collect, if what, anything? What do we collect? What do we collect? Like, what are you going to hit the floor? <laughs> Trophy. <laughs> Second place All Valley Trophy. Yeah, no, 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 I'm, I'm going after it. <laughs> <laughs> Trophies. I know. You know, like, what's the stuff that, you're, that, that, that you have too much of in your house? Legos. That's right. His kids are younger Legos. than mine. I got the, every time I come to a Comic Con, I come home with boatloads of Legos, and we're building ships and right. <laughs> Star Wars, Marvel, all those cool things. So it's all tied. It's all tied in together. I do. I will say this much: when I see and the fans are so creative in their costumes and such, but some of the T-shirts that are being made now that are so retro, they're not just straightforward Cobra Kai or Miyagi Do. They have either whether it's lines of dialogues or obscure moments in the films. Uh, uh, it's just so cool to see that stuff. <laughs> I, w I, I should start collecting some of those because... Uh, Now's your it's, chance. It's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, we have this game in front of us called Roll for Question, where you guys are going to roll that D20, and I will ask you for whatever number comes up. So roll away, gentlemen. You want to go? You're up first. Who's got the lucky hand? Ten. 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 All right. You're stuck on a desert island. What object do you hope becomes your best friend, and what do you name it? Say that again. You're stuck on a what? On a desert island. What inanimate object do you hope becomes your friend, and what name do you give it? Uh, Ralph, that's for you, right? <laughs> you can't phone a friend right now. Inanimate, inanimate. Um, we can roll again if you want. Yeah, let's roll like again. Roll that again. doesn't make any sense, because I, I, that would never happen. <laughs> that's a s nine, that's right? A, that, yeah, that's a nine. All right. What radioactive animal would you like to be bitten by to gain their powers? Oh, that's easy. Uh, cobra. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And it's happened. That's good. All right. Two. Two. Oh, okay. If you're fighting crime, would you banter with the criminals, or are you more the silent punching type? Wait, say that again one more time? If you're a crime fighter, are you a banter, like Spider-Man person, or are you a silent punch them in the face person? Oh, well, see, I would, I would say I would definitely be a banter person. Mm -hmm. uh, just from the Miyagi-Do school, the Cobra Kai would punch first, talk later. <laughs> so I, I have to, I, I will banter myself uh, as much as I can. Definitely, and the Miyagi kids, they're very chatty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got time for one more. Let's roll it up. All right, I'll get my second shot. 19. 19. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. Where do you stand on capes? Cool accessory or unnecessary tripping hazard? On capes? Capes. Definitely. Cape. Uh, uh, absolute necessity. <laughs> why? <laughs> oh, I have to say, what why? About capes for someone who can't fly? Do well, you they need, can be I mean, used. It, yeah. What is a cape for? Uh, uh, it's just to let people know you're coming. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Uh, so listen, what can everybody expect from season two? What can you what can you tell us without spoiling too much? Well, it's a continuation of uh, where we left off at the end of season one. There are some new characters, which I can't say who they are. There is a new set piece that we did mention at the panel, which is the the Miyagi Do Karate, which is Mr. Miyagi's house and the great cars that went along with it, including the wax on wax off car from uh, 1947. And so those elements are back in the show and uh, some Easter eggs, exciting, uh, exciting action sequences and whatever Billy has to say. Yeah, just a lot more ass kicking against Daniel LaRusso. There you go. That's all we need. That's all we need. Boys no, and girls, sorry. ladies and gentlemen, give Thank it up. You guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. William Zamka. Yeah. Hashtag right. it's a fan thing. Up next, Tom King, Mitch Durads. Thank talk. you. Heroes and Justice. Peace. Hi, I'm Jackie Jennings with Sci-Fi Wire. If you can't get enough of New York Comic Con, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel for news, interviews, cosplay, and so much more. What are you waiting for?